Hello, hello everyone, Gentlemen here, and welcome to another Nikkei Goddess of Victory video. Today, we finally got an official look at Mast skills and her in-game animations. So I'm very, very excited to check that out with you guys. So, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. It helps out a ton. So yeah, thank you so much. But okay, let's check out Mast's animation first. So we can, you know, wake up a little bit. It's still very early where I'm at. So yeah, let's get these neurons working, am I right? Okay, let's see. Okay. Oh, I love the parrot. Look at that. Oh my god, that's great. That is the best thing I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> her eyes also changed. That's amazing. Wow. I already want to get her just because of this. <laughs> she looks so, so cute. It's crazy. All right. Okay. Oh, that's sad. We can see a pair right here, but I'm sure it's giving us that nice, funny, uh, derpy look, right? And what did they do with the coat? Oh, wow. Okay. So they went with the like open tail coat type of a uh, type of thing. That's pretty good. I mean, I mean, don't get me wrong. You know, this could have been way better, but this is a big positive in my book. Okay, we know how other characters with big long coats look like, and it's a big disappointment. Am I right? So the fact that they kind of took that into account and they kind of fixed this, hey, I'm happy. Okay, that's you know, if we gotta meet them halfway, I'm happy with this. Oh. That's so cool too, I like that. I like the nice little detail. Uh, let's see. Does she go ahead and do it again? Yeah. There you go. She just kind of looks back at you and like... Like, kind of like, hey, look at me, I'm doing a great job. <laughs> she looks so happy. Okay, let's see. Burst animation. Okay. Oh my lord. Holy! Wait, does she take like a shot or something? Oh, come on. Yeah, look at that. She like powers up and then the bird, of course. Man, this angle though. Holy shite. Holy moly. Wow. I looks great. I look so, so good. Wow. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. Okay, there we have it. Masked animations alongside her parrot Morgan. Great duo right there without a doubt. I love that she looks so full of energy and like she's the life of the party, you know? But okay, let's take a look at her skills now. Okay, let's start from the top. She is a supporter. She has a submachine gun and she's a burst skill too. Okay, interesting. And code electric. Okay, let's check out skill one, pirate's grit. So this activates when crit attack hits two times, okay, affects the targets. So applies Sea Breeze, uh, defense down, 1.9% of the caster's defense, uh, stacks up to 50 times and lasts for three seconds, okay. Activates when HP falls below 70%, okay. So activates self and two ally units with the highest attack, except for the caster. Uh, critical damage up by almost 51% continuously. Okay, so if she's at under 70% health, she'll consistently give uh, herself and other two allies with the highest attack 51% uh, crit damage. That's pretty good, right? And then the defense down. Uh, the only thing I'm concerned right off the bat is this number. Isn't this a little... Uh, I don't know. It's not big. It's not, it's not like a big number, but it's also not low. Uh, it's just kind of like a nice consistent uh, number, which I'm wondering if uh, maybe they just wanted to keep it safe with this uh, percentage value. But I think it's good, right? Just crit damage increase if she's at below 70% uh, HP. Uh, that's pretty good. Uh, however, I guess we'll see if she has a way of kind of meeting this criteria uh, easier than not. Or do you just kind of have to get her get, you know, kind of <laughs> kind of blast it a little bit and then she can just go ham with these buffs. Uh, but also the stacks, right? Like, uh, do these st stack counter... Uh, is this 3 seconds for each one stack? Or is this 3 seconds for all your stacks, right? Like, uh, does every time that you get one stack added, does this uh, timer reset? Or is it 3 seconds for each one of those uh, uh, stacks? I guess we'll have to see, right? Because, I mean, I don't know how long or short her reload animation is, 
but if it's longer than three seconds you might just be missing out on all this uh, stacks right but we'll see okay moving on skill two pirate sight so this activates when entering battle okay affects self and two ally units with the highest attack except caster same as before uh does a crit rate increase so 23.56 percent for 30 seconds wow okay so does this just go away after the 30 seconds <laughs> does she just lose her skill too after that okay that's interesting i mean the only thing i can think of this might be very very uh, powerful i guess is if you're trying to run down some bosses or stages now uh, because these first 30 seconds are going to be very very stacked right this is a very nice crit rate buff that will allow your characters to just uh, crit more consistently and without mentioning obviously all the crit damage buffs that she's providing uh, this might be really really good right um, I guess we'll have to see where this can be as optimal as possible but yeah the fact that it just goes away after 30 seconds uh, it's a big of a bummer right why, why couldn't they just do it like every other 30 seconds at least somewhere something like that uh, but I don't know maybe this was OP too who knows but okay moving on first skill sail through the tempest affects self and to ally units with the highest attack okay this all her kit is very consistent always activates uh, herself and to uh, other dps's uh, max hp up by 86.2 percent of the caster's max hp without restoring the hp okay lasts for seven seconds and critical damage up by 25.19 percent for seven seconds wow okay so this ties into what i was saying here before uh if she has a way to enable herself to practice skills which means um getting herself to a lower uh hp percentage than 70 percent so this effectively by increasing her health um her overall health without restoring it that means that she effectively does get herself to fall below 70 percent right because as if she has what like a million two million xp whatever uh, hp whatever uh if you increase that by 86 percent uh that means that even if she's at full health she's technically gonna be like at 60 percent health right because that uh that effective max hp will obviously go way higher so that's good right and this obviously is affecting herself and two other ally units so this means that basically she's just going to be synergized with other characters that benefit from having um, a lower HP percentages. Like uh, I think the first one I can think of is Guillotine, right? Uh, she's a DPS and she benefits from having uh, low HP percentages. So this might just be an enabler for units like that. So I think what uh, Nikkei is doing now is I think they're just adding more characters that are very specific to certain uh, strategies or playstyles. Which is pretty good, right? I think they're just trying to spread um, the, the type of teams that you can build with characters like her. I think we just saw Nero. That's also kind of very specific to a playstyle. Uh, up next, she affects the targets afflicted with Seabreeze. And Seabreeze was what? The defense down debuff? Okay. So deals 4.52 of final attack as damage. Okay, so I guess all those units, uh, enemies I should say, that are affected with Seabreeze will get a nice kind of chunk of damage. Uh, and then mirrors the stack count of Seabreeze every one second for seven seconds. What does what does mirrors mean? Does that mean that she effectively just kind of doubles however many stacks those enemies have? Because that's kind of what it sounds like, right? Uh, I don't know. I don't want to make too much speculations, put anything out there that might be untrue. So yeah, if you know, please let me know in the comments below because I don't think I've ever seen this word being used in uh, any of them skills. But uh, yeah, guys, very interesting. I think she's just a very well-rounded character that can be used in most situations than not. Uh, generally, just for the defense down and then increases in crit rate and crit damage. Uh, of course, I do think that she will obviously be more synergi synergized with characters that benefit from having low HP. So her optimal team compositions might be uh, limited to that. But I guess we'll have to see. But overall, I'm happy. I think uh, they did a good job at keeping her uh, very good at what she does. My only and main concern is these uh, critical damage percentages. I do think it's pretty low, especially the burst three, only 25% um, increase. 
So effectively a total of 75% uh, crit damage increase. I do think this total amount of uh, crit damage buffs should be no lower than like 150%. I don't know, maybe that's asking a little too much, but I do think this kind of falls short, uh, especially in the burst three, um, uh, in the burst three. But uh, yeah, guys, I guess we'll have to see. Uh, she, uh, see, get it? We'll have to see. Uh, she comes out this uh, Wednesday or Thursday, depending on your schedule, your time. Uh, and that's when we'll finally get the final word in whether she is good or not and be able to try her out with her uh, most optimal team which like i said will be characters that benefit from having low hp percentages but yeah guys thank you so much for watching hope you enjoy please let me know in the comments below how excited you are about mast uh, what you think about her skills did i miss something or misunderstood something uh please let me know down below thank you guys again i uh, hope you have a great rest of your day and i'll see you all on the next one laters